What's up my foundation lovers? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is Foundation Friday. If you are new to my channel, I review foundations every Friday, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This will now be the third cushion foundation that I've reviewed on my channel. I'm not really a fan of the cushion idea just yet, but these are brand new, so I definitely wanted to review them, especially because of their drugstore pricing. The Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation can be sold at pretty much any drugstore, but these are retailed at $8.99, so it's pretty affordable. Now recently, I just did a meet and greet here in LA, and I went to BlushCon, and in my goodie bag, I received all the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundations. Well, all but one. There's eight colors, and they gave me seven. I don't know if somebody messed up, but this is what I got. Let's go ahead and open it up. There's no mirror. Interesting. The other two cushion foundations I've reviewed do have mirrors. It also has the actual cushion, and then you could open it up again, and then you will see your foundation color. So I think they kind of cheaped out on not putting a mirror here. That would be very convenient. The new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation is cruelty free. It contains coconut derivative. So if it has coconut in it, that could be very moisturizing for the skin. So if you have dry skin, that could be a good benefit. And if you have oily skin, it could be maybe even adding some oil or moisture to your skin so that your skin doesn't produce more oil. So I'm interested to see what this coconut derivative really does. Now, as you can see, there's definitely a lot of light beige colors available and really only one if you even want to call it dark shade. I will admit that I get extremely pale during the winter and then I get like three shades darker during the summer. So the fact that this is my winter color, the darkest shade available is not okay. There's definitely more skin tones darker than me. So unfortunately, this is the darkest one they've got and I'm wearing it. <sighs> I don't know guys, I'm getting pretty shocked at how many major makeup brands are releasing foundations with only one or two dark shades available. Like, why is this still a thing? So without further ado, let me show you my struggle in trying to find the perfect shade for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this warm undertone. This is the color Nude Beige 108 Light Medium. Pretty good. Also getting some good coverage. Okay, now let's go ahead and try the cool undertone, number 109. Hmm, this one looks even more pale than this one. Natural beige, medium, neutral undertone. Hmm, I guess this one is like slightly more darker, for lack of words, but hmm, maybe we should keep going. Part of me hates that I'm opening all these because now I can't give them away, at least to you guys, like maybe my friends, but sorry. Just curious, you know? All right, now we have some actual color. This is Honey Beige Medium Tan Warm. Honestly, I don't think that there is a correct color for me. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and open the deep one, just for fun. Let's see what's actually in here. So this is the absolute deepest, darkest shade out of this Wet n Wild cushion collection. And here's the color. Why do I kind of feel like this is even lighter than the one down? What am I gonna do? This is too ghostly and this is too orange. I honestly think I'm just gonna go with the darkest shade. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm just gonna use my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I can't find my Rimmel one all of a sudden, but 
this is a very good primer. Get the skin ready. And now I, being this light, I'm gonna grab the darkest shade of the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. And I do have some beautiful dark spots right here that we can use to see coverage. I mean, that's the only reason why I have them is for foundation reviews, of course. So let me tap this on here. This is gonna have to be pretty orange on me. Let's see what happens if I mix it with this neutral beige one. Oh, there we go. That makes a much better color for me. Interesting, right? So let me go ahead and finish with the Tawny Medium Deep Neutral Color all throughout my face. See how it looks like I have a mask on? That's definitely what you don't want. Okay, so here's me pretty orange, and I'm gonna go back over it again with the Natural Beige Medium Neutral in 120 and try to chill out this orange a little bit. That's better. A little shiny on camera. This definitely is not matte. And I don't think it claims to be matte, but just in case you didn't notice, it's not matte at all. That took me a very long time to apply with my two fingers and this little pad. I did have to mix two different colors to get to this one that I'm at right now, which is still not really amazing, but better than one on its own. The coverage is really good. It was able to cover up all of my dark blemishes, but the fact that I'm this shiny right now makes me very nervous. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face. There we go. So now I have my full face on and I am very happy with my results. I did have to mix two different colors to get to this skin tone color. I then set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I also put a little bit of my Bare Minerals matte powder and now I am extremely matte. Now since nowhere on the box does it actually claim to last all day, 24 hours, 12 hours, it doesn't have any actual time framing on here. So I don't know about that part, but I am gonna wear this foundation for as long as possible and I'll probably just come back as soon as it starts to get shiny or suspect. So it's currently 2 p.m. I will come back at the end of the day and show you how well this foundation really held up. And I'm back, it is now 11 o'clock p.m. So I've had this foundation for a total of nine hours. And look how surprisingly good it looks. I am really not that shiny at all. I'm pretty matte and I'm shocked. I'm usually way more shinier right around here and on my forehead, but it's not bad at all. I'm really surprised. I lost a little bit of coverage here on the side, but I know that's because I remember sitting like this earlier today, so I was just like literally taking the makeup off of my face. But let me go ahead and use my oil absorbing sheets. These are from Clean and Clear, and let's see how much oil actually comes off my skin. So here is my oil absorbing sheet, and surprisingly, there's really not a lot of oil on here. There's more foundation. So this foundation is definitely not transfer proof, but it did a great job at containing my oils and keeping me pretty matte. So overall, I actually have to admit that this foundation did a really good job on oily skin. It's only about $8.99, so it's a really good affordable drugstore price. So although I know, Wet n Wild, that this is a new release, you've only released eight colors maybe thus far, hopefully you're looking to expand because the formula is actually really good, but we gotta get more brown shades available. There's no reason why I should be the darkest color. If you found this Foundation Friday helpful, I hope you leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you tried this foundation yourself, also let me know your thoughts. You also should give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair product reviews on Sunday. So come back next week for more videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.